Greetings all, Joseph Kursky here. Welcome to Cartographic Design. All right, folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about what's happening in week one of our course. GIS 204 Cartographic Design. I'm looking forward to getting started. I hope you are too. We're, we're going to look at a set of maps from Andy Woodruff, a cartographer. Those are fascinating, and I hope you find them fascinating. We're going to talk about, you know, some of the real basics here. What is a map? What's GIS? Why maps? Why do we make maps? And maps as decision-making tools, some components of GIS and talk about how GIS is changing. I realize that most of you have had GIS before, and this will build on your previous understanding of that, just to kind of set the, the level playing field here. We're going to talk about data that goes into maps and GIS. We're going to talk about how GIS is a platform and about the whys of where, critical thinking, earth changes, spatial technology, a brief history of GIS and cartography. And then we're going to go and explore some maps made with GIS. We're also going to talk about types of maps, thematic, topographic, et cetera. Again, just to, just to set the stage. Our hands-on activity is, is a variety of things that I hope you find fascinating. Examining business locations, thinking bigger picture, uh, mapping specific businesses in specific metropolitan areas, being critical of data. I promise that's gonna be a thread, a theme running through the course. We're gonna look at a business web mapping application. We're gonna look at the Urban Observatory, which is a web mapping application. We're going to investigate population trends and population pyramids. And I want you to think about when we look at these things cartographically with your cartographic eye that you're developing. How does the design impact how you feel about that issue or your understanding of that issue, et cetera? We're gonna look at the world's water balance as well, another web mapping application. So those are the key elements in week one of our course. And as always, we'll have a discussion, we'll have a short quiz, and we're gonna just gonna dig in to these issues and these, uh, these problems that we wanna solve through mapping. Thanks. And more. Much more than this, I mapped it my way. Thank you.